Welcome to This Day in Baseball and our Daily Rewind. My name is Tom Han and I'm your host. Today we'll bring you to April 1st, 1914. George Edward Waddell, a future Hall of Famer, better known as Rue, dies of tuberculosis in San Antonio, Texas at the young age of 37. Rube was an eccentric person and to many was known as much for his off-field behavior as his on-field performance. He will miss starts because he was off fishing or playing marbles with kids. He disappeared for days only to be found leading a parade down Main Street or wrestling an alligator in a nearby lagoon. He didn't draw a regular salary because he didn't know what to do with it. He'd just go to the manager and get five, ten dollars as he needed it, and he was irresistibly attracted to fire engines. So much so, on the days he was pitching, a teammate was always assigned to make sure he got to the ballpark and didn't go off chasing fire engines. Despite his acts, he was one of the top left-handed pitchers in Major League Baseball history. He led the American League in strikeouts for six years in a row, including setting a record at 349 in one season, post-1901. That record stood until Sandy Koufax broke it in 1965. Only Koufax, Nolan Ryan, and Randy Johnson have been able to strike out more batters in a single season. He also collected four consecutive 21 seasons from 1902 to 1906, including the pitcher's triple crown in 1905 with 27 wins, 287 strikeouts, and a 148 ERA. His fantastic career was rewarded in 1946 as the Special Veterans Committee inducts him into Baseball's Hall of Fame. If you're hungry for more, there are thousands of stories on thisdayinbaseball.com. Don't forget to ring the bell to get all of our updates and we appreciate any thumbs up and any other feedback. And if you know of any baseball fans who'd like to hear about these stories, please share our videos with them. We'll see you on the next Rewind.